of the trade union movement, the Order. New Zealand Labor Party. The members' time has expired. And New Jenny Marcroft. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Kua hinga te tōtara i te wānui a tāne. Kua hinga he rangatira o ngā reo irirangi o Aotearoa. Ki te whānau pānui, te whānau whānui o Merv Smith. Ka nui, aku mihi aroha ki a koutou. Ki a koe, Merv, moi mai, moi mai, moi mai rā. Haere, haere, haere atu rā. Ki te hunga ora, tēnā koutou katoa. Mā te atua tātou, e manaki, e tiaki, e arahi ki te aratika i ngā wā katoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Mr Speaker, we live today in a society which is very much celebrating the celebrity culture. A culture that has coined the phrase, famous for being famous. Now, once upon a time, Mr Speaker, fame was a byproduct of actually doing something that was impressive. Now, back in his day, Merv, Merv Smith was very famous. He was probably the most famous radio broadcaster that this country has ever produced. Radio and television, that was his natural place to be. He was a byproduct, product, Mr. Speaker, of incredible talent. He was sharp witted, he had an amazing mimicry ability, but also there was this natural kindness and a jolliness about him. And those features enabled his listeners to connect with him. He was relatable, and that's an absolute skill that broadcasters that are at the top of their game are able to bring. They are able to connect with their audience, and Merv had that. But he was more than that. For 48 years, Merv Smith read stories, recorded books for the blind. What a great contribution he made. Also in Auckland, he set up a radio station. It was a country radio station. Now in radio, we have a bit of a we would have a bit of a joke about that station because it played two types of music: country and western. Uh, he was most loved indeed, was Merv Smith. But he also had some amazing qualities. He didn't have any sense of entitlement. He didn't have an inflated ego, and he didn't seek the limelight. Fame for him was a byproduct of a good and decent man and he had so much to give our society. If anyone in broadcasting should have received a knighthood, it should have been Merv Smith. So farewell to you, Merv Smith. You will be missed. The radio industry and the radio uh, industry really is a different beast to the days of Merv Smith. We've had to adjust to uh, a global media landscape, and, but radio has thrived, interestingly, uh, as traditional media, though, generally hasn't so much. So I turn my mind briefly now to community radio, uh, Mr Speaker, to Whakaruruho o Ngā Reo Irirangi Māori, our iwi radio network. They are doing some amazing work in, in the communities where they are connected to. They are protecting the taonga of te reo Māori and they are ensuring that the dialects are preserved for uh, our language preservation for us and our tamariki into the future. So I'd just like today to acknowledge the contribution that Iwi Radio has made and to congratulate all those that work inside that industry. You are the backbone of uh, radio and you're really our last bastion of community radio. New Zealand First is very proud to support Iwi Radio. Uh, Mr Speaker, speaking of radio, everyone needs a theme song. And so I'd like to finish my contribution with, with making a suggestion or two about uh, theme songs, just to cheer up the opposition a little bit. Uh, I'd like to, to suggest a theme song for the Leader of the Opposition, the Honourable Simon Bridges. And now, we're not talking about uh, Eminem or anything Eminem-esque at all, uh, or any pretty legal rendition whatsoever. 
Uh, and, and even too with his gangster fingers, the finger guns that he's been pointing lately, uh, no wiggle song for him. No, no, Mr. Speaker. I would like to suggest something really Kiwi for, for the Leader of the Opposition. And bearing in mind that the deal dealing with the leak and the boat is no longer uh, going in the right direction, uh, probably about to sink very fast, I would like to suggest the 1982 hit song from Split Ends, those boys from Te Aumutu, Six Months in a Leaky Boat. Dr. Yang Yang. Yeah, Mr. Chair, uh, this is uh, Chinese Language Week. Uh, we'll see.